how you doing out there in uh, the World Wide Web. Watch me on Kill Tony. You don't want to miss it. Everybody's going to get vaccinated. Everybody's going to stay alive. Everybody's going to do what you have to do to stop COVID-19. Watch Kill Tony. Watch Kill Tony. Company in Austin, Texas, for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Get up, at Tony! Let's go! Austin, it's Monday night. That you gotta let these podcast listeners know what the fuck is up. You have to make noise right now. The great Brian Red Band's here, ladies and hey. gentlemen, and you are at the number one live podcast in the world. Are you guys excited to be here tonight, huh? Goddamn motherfucking right. Very exciting stuff. We have a full roster of, uh, of uh, awesomeness ahead of you. Historically, uh, Austin, Texas, a lot of people saying the best episodes in the eight-year history of the show. Hell yeah. Right here in your hometown. That's the rumor on the street. I agree with them 100%. And look at this. We have a brand new decoration. We famously had a sword on the stage for all of our shows in Los Angeles. Somehow that uh, ended up in my wrong golf bag when I moved out here to Texas. <laughs> but it's only fitting that we would switch the show from Los Angeles to Austin. And we switch from a sword to a brand new gun, everybody. This Fuck is yeah. a 45 caliber Kill Tony. This is a fucking legit heavy fucking gun. By the way, when the guy gave it to me in the parking lot, I was a little freaked out at first. Shout out to Thomas Landis. <laughs> Thomas L-A-N-D-E-S-S. -S. He's on Instagram at that name for making the gun for us. Fuck Very yeah. fucking cool. How about a hand for the band, everybody? How cool is that shit, huh? The Kill Tony Band brought to you by Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey. This is the great Matt Muling on guitar, everybody. That there is Michael Gonzalez on the drums. And this is our good friend, fresh from a two-week break, thanks to the coronavirus. Now he's stronger than ever. How about a hand for D Madness, everybody? <laughs> Holy shit. This is Kill Tony, brought to you by the Yellow Rose and the Red Rose, the two best strip clubs not only in Austin, but in the world. We also would like to give a shout-out to a brand-new sponsor, Soco Modern Gallery. That's a real art gallery on uh, South Congress Avenue that is a, uh, a, an amazing supporter of not just art, but our art here at Kill Tony. That there is a piece by local artist Ashley Metro. So check out the Soco Modern Art Gallery. That's yes. super fucking cool. <laughs> High Society. Brand new joke books made by the great Adrian Cavazos. Follow him at Instagram at Bonesai. Big joke books for the people that perform well. Small joke books for the people that suck tonight. You know how that works. We're all filled up on food from the great CM Smokehouse, who uh, is a uh, proud sponsor here at Kill Tony, and also serving up food at uh, the after party that happens here. Shout out to Yoni out there with the Steadicam, also fresh from the coronavirus. It's all happening. Canteen and Cantina, a local uh, Austin company that makes uh, vodka soda and tequila soda. Unbelievable. So good. Unbelievable product. And it fucking, it gets you drunk, man. Yeah, yeah. Very fun stuff. Low calories. Too. And we have the great Ryan J. Ebelt drawing tonight's episode all the way from Los Angeles, California. He draws every single episode of Kill Tony. All those things, including t-shirts and the brand new Kill Tony bingo cards are available at ryanjebelt.com and I do believe they're going to be available for sale in-house starting next week. 
And, uh, yeah, very exciting stuff. A bunch of people signed up for the show. Very, 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 very exciting stuff. But before we start tonight's show, here's a little bit about the amazing sponsors that made tonight's episode available for you for free right now. You know, I think that if there's one thing we all learn in this past year and a half, it's how fragile life is. People can get sick. Pe- people can fall over. Maybe you have an underlying condition. Maybe you get hit by a train. Anything can happen. With that said, it makes sense why people get life insurance, especially term coverage, which is surprisingly affordable. Why not pay a bit each month to protect the ones you love? If you're asking yourself this question, choose Ladder. Ladder is 100% digital. No doctors, no needles, no paperwork. When you apply for $3 million in coverage or less, you need a few minutes, a phone, or a laptop to apply. Ladder's smart algorithms work in real time, so you'll find out instantly if you're approved. If you prefer to talk to a person, their team of licensed agents doesn't work on commission, so they'll help you and not upsell you. No hidden fees, cancel any time, get a full refund if you change your mind in the first 30 days. And ladder policies are insured by insurers with long proven histories of paying claims. They're rated A and A plus by AM Best. Ooh, finally, since life insurance costs more as you age, now's the time to cross it off your list. So go to ladderlife.com slash Tony today to see if you're instantly approved. That's L-A-D-D-E-R life.com slash Tony. Ladderlife.com slash Tony. You know, Red Band and I aren't really Kratom guys, but obviously we have a ton of friends that are, and our uh, friends tell us that their favorite Kratom is Super Speciosa. Kratom gives them the energy to get everything they need to get done all day. It's an all-natural herb related to the coffee plant that has been used in Thailand for centuries. It helps boost energy, relieve stress, enhance mood, relieve aches and pains. Super Speciosa has only one ingredient, pure kratom leaf. It helps you feel good without feeling impaired. You know about this red band. Oh, yeah. You know, if you want to have some help or that extra courage to ask somebody out on a special date, have some kratom. Or if you want to ask your boss for a raise... It's Kratom time! (laughs) Or you need to run that extra mile. Kratom is also used as a pre-workout. It has a 100% satisfaction guarantee or your money back. So do what you need to do. Try Kratom and get 20% off your entire order. Go to GetSuperLeaf.com slash Tony and use the promo code Tony for 20% off your entire order. Again, that is GetSuperLeaf.com slash Tony and use the promo code Tony for 20% off your entire order one of our favorite sponsors in the world the ridge wallet it's a light sleek and industrial wallet it doesn't fold awkwardly or budge in your back pocket and it has seriously changed our entire podcast situation everybody has one everybody's happy everybody feels cool They, they have confidence on stage they have confidence off stage They were with us episode 100, episode 500. This is one of our biggest sponsors. If you ever carry a wallet, why not support the show? Get one of these awesome wallets. You're going to feel good. You're going to look cool. And you're going to say, Tony sent you. They're absolutely unbelievable. Red Band and I, our entire cast, they all we all use them. It holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. They have over 40,000 five-star reviews. It's super durable, which means each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. You could buy this one wallet and carry it for your entire life. It has a lifetime warranty, so it's absolutely worth what you pay for it. The Ridge team is so confident that you'll like it that they'll let you test drive it for 45 days. You can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. You literally have nothing to lose. Red Band, tell these people what I'm trying to tell them. I mean, how many years have we sat on that big clunky wallet? Like, why is the wallet in our back of our pants? Who thought of that idea? It hurts your back. And a lot of times you have that big wallet that you get at like Target and it has like millions of business cards in there. It's like three inches thick. Now I have it in my front pocket. It's so slick and smooth. I'm never going to have another wallet for the rest of my life. I agree. Don't be a buffoon. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash killtony. Use the code killtony at checkout. Again, 10%. Save it. Get it. It'll last you a lifetime. Go to ridge.com slash killtony and use the code killtony at checkout. Are you guys ready to start tonight's episode or what, huh? 
There it is. Every single week, we have one of the funniest comedians in the world on this show. Uh, this guy, Comedy Store Royalty, ladies and gentlemen. This guy uh, used to open up for Sam Kennison, and uh, he's everybody's favorite. Uh, he's your favorite comedian's favorite comedian. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the great Jimmy Schubert, everybody. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Jimmy, a longtime veteran guest of Kill Tony. He's been with us since its inception at the Comedy Store. A badass motherfucker. He's on tour always. And his special's available at jimmyschubert.com. That's S-H-U-B-E-R-T. Jimmy Schubert, all one word, dot com. Jimmy, how are you? I'm great, man. How are you? Thanks for having me. Love it. I'm so excited that you're in Austin, Texas. I'm loving Austin, dude. We always have so much fun. Yeah, it's great here. You're a wild man. You've been in Florida, man. Last time we saw you, we had Kill Tony Miami. Yep. Yeah. It was an amazing time. How is Florida? You... It's great. It's, uh, you know, it's a little hot right now, but it's hot everywhere. You know what I mean? It really is. It's hot as fuck here in, uh, in Texas. It's absolutely ridiculous. You know what else is hot? Is tonight's show. A bunch of people signed up for the opportunity. Comedians, are you back there? Make some noise so that they know you're real. Over 100 comedians signed up for the opportunity to get pulled out of this bucket tonight. If I pull their name out, they get 60 seconds of uninterrupted stand-up comedy time. You know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. All right, that's it. You guys ready to start the show? This is it. Yeah! All right. Kicking off tonight's show, instead of going to the bucket, we have this week three regulars that will be performing. This is one of them. Every single week, uh, we have regulars that debut a brand new minute. It's very, very hard to do in the art of stand-up comedy, doing 52 new minutes per year, plus road shows when they're at them. But these guys always figure out a way to get the job done. Your first comedian tonight, one of our uh, favorite regulars in the history of the show, Formerly a master of improv out of Chicago's Second City, did it for decades, was written about in history books, then got diagnosed with ALS, decided to chase his bucket list dream of becoming a comedian. This is Michael Lehrer, everybody. Make some fucking noise for the great Michael Lehrer. Over here, guys. Over here. Grab that mic for him. There you go. Thank you. Sweet. How about one more time for the great and powerful brand new minute from Michael Lair, everybody. It's time for action, people. Right now, a heat wave threatens 100 million Americans. I threaten one bitch I get a restraining order. Now, people are always like, Mike. <laughs> Michael, you s- <laughs> Yo, let me show me over. I deserve a warm up. What do y'all think? I mean, everything's against me. The microphone cable is tangled up. I can barely speak for <laughs> Alright, a new minute from Michael Lair. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Michael, you sounded like absolute shit tonight. <laughs> No, man, I'm set up for shit. The fucking microphone cable is tied around the fucking (laughs) mic stand. Literally, comedy is the hardest job in the fucking world. And every one of you white boys want to be me up here. Right? And then, and then, and then... And then I get this disease. I can't walk. I can't talk. There is no fucking ramp. And then the microphone cable is tied around the microphone the camera. Microphone stand. 
So fuck you, Tony. Okay, okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, my own friends are clapping at that? You backstabbing traitors. Wow, what a hot take from the audience. Oh, we're going to take the dying guy's side. Oh, whatever, you pussies. Michael, that was a fun set. No, it was no set. <laughs> I have five jokes. We're in the interview portion. Let me spit them Okay, let's fun. do some more All jokes. Right. You want to do more jokes? Yo, I want to say hi to my main man, Jimmy Shorebay. Hi, Jack Shorebay, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy Shorebay. I love you soon. I saw him walking and I think he might have the gout. Oh shit. Wow. The gout? So he's a legend with the gout. Yeah. Jimmy. Yo, but uh, let me tell a joke. Okay. No. Jesus Christ. You don't have to say that beforehand. You no, can just do it. I do. I'm <laughs> I'm set up for failure every fucking week, and I fucking kill. I imagine if I was set up for success. Now, my uh, people tell me all the time, oh, your son looks so much like you. No shit. Who's he supposed to look like? Magic Johnson, Kevin Hart, Denzel Washington. All right, confession time. My girlfriend's only seen on me with black guys. Look, I know what I might say might ruffle some feathers, but I think the only way to make America great again is in my girlfriend's stop cheating on, on me with black guys. There you go. That's when you say black guys three times, you hear the baking soda sound effect. That's just how Kill Tony works. Do you think she's really cheating on you, by the way, Michael? Because I, I, I bet she is. But do you think she is? Yeah. Yeah, they all do. Damn. Um, because I'm a micro penis. Oh, wow. You better keep her away from D Madness back there. I'm telling no. you, this guy, this guy will literally fuck anything. I know it for a fact. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Red band. That's all right. Michael, what else? What else this week? What else is going on? Um, well, um, you know, it's a crazy week. You know, we are dealing with a pandemic that we're all balancing what is right for each other and our individual freedoms. But we need to get our kids back in the classroom because no more virtual learning because we can't teach our teens critical race theory while them while they're masturbating. Right. <laughs> One more thing. Okay, you son of a bitch. One Jesus Christ, thing. my God. Look, we need to keep Broadway open, all right? Broadway? Well, yeah, okay. Broadway. Keep it open. Without Broadway... Rich white people want to have rap music that doesn't overwhelm them. <laughs> hey, look, what I mean is, if we keep open Broadway, maybe, just maybe, if we're lucky, the whole cast of Hamilton will get corona and die. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. I love it. Michael, you got to meet Andrew Dice Clay last night, one of your heroes. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was um, very cool. When I was eight years old, 
in 1986 on HBO on Rodney Dangerfield's special, I remember seeing Andrew Dice Clay. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Tell us more. Then what happened? Then I learned Merry, Merry, Clark Country, turn that pussy into Harry. Keep going. Keep telling us this emotional Andrew Dice Clay story. Yo, I mean, you know. <laughs> when that piano kicks in, it gets me every time. <laughs> yeah, um, you know that, um. He's fucking flies at this place. I know. I, God. I may bring Nick, my fly gun Nick, next time. Nick, you need to fucking clean up your club a little bit, dude. <laughs> get, get some Yo. of those fly strips in your joint or something. <laughs> this place Yo. is disgusting. Speaking of dice clay. I was here yesterday for the show, and it's... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. I said you got to meet Dice last night. <laughs> I already said that. <laughs> no, we're not going to cut it. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. You don't get to decide when the music... That's us. We decide that, Michael. Tell your fucking story. <laughs> All right, it's over, it's over. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> it's for Dice, Nick, and Kim, and Haley. They made Vulcan <laughs> guys coming smell like fabuloso. All right, it's like Kool-Aid all-purpose cleaner for Mexicans. Fabuloso. I must be a regional yeah, joke. Yeah, it is. It is a regional thing. I've heard a fabuloso joke. Uh, they do better in Los Angeles. Look, I just say, uh, I'd like to sing one more thing that before I leave. All right, perfect. This will just take seven and a half minutes, so let's just get it out of the way. I mean, you know, the world is upside down right now. But the only people having a better summer than the Milwaukee Bucks are the Taliban. Yeah, that's true. It is a big week for the Taliban. A big week. <laughs> How about a big hand for Michael Lair, ladies and gentlemen? He did it again. Come on, make some fucking noise for the great Michael Lair, everybody. This is the part where he stage dives. All right. You guys ready to go to this bucket? Anything can happen. Over 100 people signed up. Let's see what happens here. Mix them up. I get in there, and I pull the first name out of the bucket. Your first comedian goes by the name of Jordan McDonald. Anything can happen here, people. We have no idea who these people are. Could be a local legend. Could be a first timer. Could be a 20 year veteran that sucks. Could be a crazy person. Here's your first comedian. This is Jordan McDonald, everybody. Make some noise for Jordan. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? I realize I look like every light-skinned black dude with long hair who's ever been famous. I look like Lenny Kravitz. I look like a tall prince. I look like that nigga from High School Musical, Corbin Blue. I look like Zero from Holes. Eric Andre, Colin Kaepernick. I look like all these niggas, man. I look like Sideshow Bob. He's not yellow, he's light-skinned. I think Walmart's an interesting place. Walmart's one of the few places in the world where you can purchase a box of condoms, Plan B pills, and a rifle on the same transaction. If you ask me, that's Plan A, B, and C all at the same time. Thank you, thank you. I'm a hip hop fan. I like to imagine what DMX would sound like if he was French. I feel like DMX would sound something like, Bonjour, what? Voulez-vous coucher avec moi, c'est soir, euh, euh. Gitchi, gitchi, ya, ya, da, da. 
Omelet du fromage, nigga, that's cheese. Wow, Jordan McDonald. Holy Thank you. shit. Thank you. Coming out guns a-blazing. Thank you. You do look like all those things that you mentioned. I look like all of them somehow, bro. It's incredible. Bro. It's crazy. You look like a light-skinned Rhea Perlman. Has anybody <laughs> ever told you that before? <laughs> oh, no. You ever seen Danny DeVito's Yo. wife? You know who I'm talking about? I don't. Yo. Somebody said I look like an albino Afro man after a show last week. Okay. I was like, all right, I guess. I all know. right. I love it. How long have you been doing stand-up? That was a fantastic uh, set. Since uh, 2018. Wow. Yeah, I've been doing. I did it twice in 2017 and did terrible. And then 2018, I was like, yo, I'm out here. Okay. All right. You remember your worst joke from your first set? Uh, my very first set, I was living in an Airbnb in L.A. And I talked about how I was mad that the Airbnb roommates were eating my bananas because I'm a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And. And exactly how y'all are looking at me is how everybody was looking right. at me then. Yeah, exactly. You're like, I but should add some jokes to this. Yeah, I, yeah exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Instead of just making everybody hungry with the banana talk. Yeah. Uh, I love it, man. So now do you live here in Austin, Texas? Yes, sir. When did you move here? Uh, so I'm actually from Texas. I'm from Sherman, Texas, up in North Texas. Okay. Yeah, shout out to that. Uh, a bunch of meth heads and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I lived out here in uh, 2016 to 2017. My sister went to UT, um, and then I dipped from Austin to LA, and then I've been on the road from LA to like Atlanta from June to like last June, and then I just got back to Austin in July. So okay. I've been around, man. Okay, you have been around. What do you do for work? How do you make a living? Unemployment, baby. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. September 6th is that last day, boy. Wow, you have it set up. Set up, man. Where are you getting unemployment from? What company? Uh, so I used to, um, M uh, like, I used to MC and host dance competitions for two years. Get out of so here. So I would, yeah, I would go across the country and get people hype on stage because dance competitions are boring as fuck. Do you dance a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Can we see some of your dance? Yeah, moves? yo, Let's put on some, some music. Uh, you guys have any dance music for him? Let's get something here for uh, his, Jordan though. McDonald. Yeah. Oh shit! There goes the bat. Oh shit! Wow. Oh my goodness. All God right, damn. All right, all right. All right, all right. Wow. Just a little bit. That was such a good Michael Jackson impression. Thank I'm gonna you. let you fuck a little boy on the stage no. right now just to really just to reward you. I love it. Jordan, you're a stud. What's your love life Ooh. like? You have a girlfriend? Yeah, I got a lady, man. I got a very special lady, man. Yeah. Some special like disabled or uh no <laughs> no actually real talk she was like yo you really need to concentrate on comedy oh okay like, she really was like yo do this shit for real i yeah. love that that's yeah good. okay we got the michael jackson thing very good yeah you're getting them all amped up yeah. here when he hears those noises <laughs> give me pumped what does she do uh so she's a like a spiritual wellness uh teacher <laughs> yeah okie dokie uh, <laughs> Safe word, safe word. All right, we so got the she's a Jackson, crazy right? girl. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, but crazy, crazy. You know, if you trust your crazy, is it really crazy? She teaches like yoga or something. No, or? so like she helps people get in tune with their spirituality. She does readings. Oh, uh, she believes in crystal meth. Jesus Not the meth part. Christ. But stones and stuff. You know. <laughs> yeah. Metaphysics. She does tarot and stuff. Meditation, yeah. like all that. Stuff. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Do you guys meditate together? Um, not together, but like. We meditate, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You have any special moves in the bedroom? You're such a, like, a stylish, cool guy. Man, I, I, got, I got some moves, bro. Well, can I you mean, describe to us? Some of the, a lot of the fans uh, <laughs> of Phil Tony are virgins and um, don't know what to do. Like, look at this fucking guy right here. Yo, just... You just got to breathe. You just got to breathe. Like, yeah, try breathing, dude. Just stop holding your fucking breath. Yeah. <laughs> What else? What else other than breathing? That's really great advice. Like, no, for real, like conscious breathing, and you get in the bedroom, and you just be lasting forever just through your breath, bro. You do. What's the longest you've ever lasted? I'm talking about thrusting, like thrusting, nonstop, all right. hard as a rock. What's the longest you've gone? All right, like. <laughs> it's a real tough question here. All right, so like 44, 24. 44 minutes, 24 seconds. I would say that. Wow. 44 that. minutes, 24 seconds. That's pretty fucking exact, bro. Yeah. yeah. I, Yo, well, vegetarian diet. That shit will, will switch your life up. Your energy level will be on the a whole different level. Get the fuck out of here, dude. I'm serious, though. If you ate a fucking steak. 
Bro, he's <laughs> fucking vegetarian. Nah, I, I, was, I was raised on a Black Angus cattle ranch, so like I was raised like on like homegrown beef and stuff, and I always could taste like the dirt and beef you get from the grocery store Come and stuff. On, you know what I'm saying? Dude. <laughs> All right, turn up. That's a jam. I love it. Uh, so you were raised on a farm? Yes, sir. Is that what your uh, parents do? Uh, so not anymore, um, but we were raised Sherman, Texas, Black Angus Cattle Ranch. Uh, then in high school, we had horses. Shout so. out to the Black Angus Cattle Ranch. Yeah, okay. for real. That's some good-ass beef, for real. Yeah. Good-ass burgers, good-ass steaks, Black Angus Cattle. What, do you, what does your father think about you becoming a vegetarian? Uh, I mean, he's, he's cool. He used to be a vegetarian back in the day, too. So. Wow. Yeah. That's he's a Vietnam War vet. Shout out to my pops. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Vietnam. We love Vietnam. Huge fans. I love it. Jordan, that was such a fucking great set, man. You thank have you. so much charisma. Thanks for yeah, getting thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you. Here's a joke book. Take one of those. Custom made thank fucking so real much. Texas thank leather you. right there, made by Bonesai. Follow him on Instagram, Bonesai with a Z. And that's it. The show has begun. Back to the bucket we go. Look at our photographer. Look at the great Joe White over here, everybody. Look at this guy. He's not even paying attention to the show. You gotta love it. Get yourself a photographer that's 114 years old like we did. <laughs> a lot of these young buck photographers think they have it figured out. Uh-uh. Get yourself a guy that hasn't gotten hard in 40 years. Your next comedian goes by the name of David Tombenin. Tombalin. David Tombalin. Tombalin. Watch out for that camera behind you, Joe. That one. Oh, shit. All right. Here comes this oh. guy. One more time for David Tombalin. Austin, Texas. Wow, I love Austin. You know, you know why I like Austin? Because you're open-minded. I'm open-minded, too. In fact, my wife is trans. Yeah? No fans? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, my wife's trans. You know there's all kinds of trans. There's transracial now. Of course, good old-fashioned transgender. My wife is a trans spender. Yeah, that's right. She, uh, that was the part you're supposed to laugh. Okay, that's okay. You'll get on there. Yeah, she, she, she spins according to how she feels on the inside. In fact, she feels she was born in the wrong socioeconomic class. You understand? So she, she's even got her own pronouns, NASDAQ and GDP. Yeah, that's what she goes by. And uh, she just got a job down at the library. Uh, she's teaching kids on financial responsibility. That's right. And she's, uh, she, she's just uh, going for it, living her dream, and she's spending according to her truth. Her truth. Thank you, everybody. That's right. Fuck yeah, David Tombalin, exactly one minute. I love it. I'm surprised you didn't talk about how somebody ate your bananas during that set. Uh, God damn, that was fucking horrible, dude. Was it? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you're wondering, like maybe that maybe it just sounds different up here than if yeah. you're in the back. No. I, I, I love it. You're brand new at this, huh? Yeah, first time. Yeah. First time, everybody. Wow. Yeah. That's acceptable. In that case, if you would have said you were doing it 10 years, we were going to shoot you in the head. So congratulations. Thank what you. made you want to start now? Well, um, people lied to me. Yeah, they told you you were funny. Yeah. yeah. Now, wow. now you laugh. Yeah. Now they laugh. That's what you have to do. You have to make fun of yourself a little bit, David. Oh, shit. You're if you calm down a little, it, there might be something there, but you were like cocaine energy like yeah. from the yeah, start. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. It's incredible. Yeah. Good advice. Thank you. Why are you so energetic? How do you do that? He was uh, nervous. Yeah. yeah, I was nervous. Thank you, guy who looks like me. Thank you. Yeah. Th you think this I, is what you look like? It looks like me. I got bad news for you, bro. You look like Red Band, my no, friend. Yeah. I, got, I love it. You think? Yeah. As long as it's someone, it. Tony. Look at this. Like father and son over here. It's he, incredible. He doesn't look like he looks like a sporty Harvey Weinstein. Man. You, better, you better slow it down. Like if Whoa. Harvey took a few laps around the yard. I love it. What the fuck did you just say, bitch? All right. David okay. David oh, saved all of his jokes for after his set. The very unorthodox approach. It's sneaky. It's sneaky, yeah. All right. So let's talk about your life. How old are you, David? 48. 48 years yeah. old. You just started stand-up comedy five just minutes five ago. Just five minutes ago, yeah. Absolutely. And what have you been doing up until this point? What do you do for a living? Uh, I do some contract work. What kind of contract I work? I can't talk about it. What are you talking about? Uh, let's just say when you see me, you see your tax dollars at work. 
Why don't you just tell <laughs> us works. what the I fuck can't. you do for work, dude? No, no, no. I, can't, I, I do some contracting with the government that I can't talk about. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can't talk about it. Right. All right. What yeah. can you talk about? You have any special <sighs> skills or talents? Anything interesting about you or your life that we might be able to talk about, David? <sighs> well, I uh, was in a hip hop group when I was in high school. Get the fuck out of yeah. here. It was called really? White Chocolate. Yeah. Get out of here. Don't laugh at my dreams. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. So what kind of what kind what kind of Yes if, You if, get me. If we give you a beat, will you do some hip hop for us? Well, I didn't really prepare any Okay. <laughs> Drop a beat, Red Band. Oh shit! Oh shit! Damn. Come on. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the whitest guy you've ever seen in your life. Taking a shot at hip hop. Chitty chitty bang bang, go and do your thing. Can't take a joke, let's call him Pang Dang. Who's in the house? Wow. Everybody raise a Are glass. Prepared for I'm this. all up in your first class. All right, that's all I got, guys. Wow. Wow. Look at that. That was pretty good. That was actually pretty good, David. Very surprised. I'm absolutely shocked. You are sweating like a pig right now. Look at you. And, and this is a light day. This yeah. is a light day, yeah. I love it. David, what else do you do? What do you do like to do for fun? How do you uh, relieve stress? Uh, I've, I like to fly single-engine aircraft. Really? Uh, yeah, I golf like wow. you. I heard you're a golfer. Oh, golf my player. goodness. That's crazy. Yeah. He's it's hitting it's, on you. Yeah, this is incredible. This is, these are all the things that I'm into. I don't know oh, you how, fly planes, too? Yeah. What kind? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not flying single-engine aircraft by myself yet. I'm getting my um, take. You haven't soloed yet? No. Okay. No, a few hours away. He flies a plane, he says. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, he does D madness. I'm getting heckled by D madness. Back yeah, D madness said he doesn't trust you. him flying an airplane. He can't say the same. Yeah, all he heard was your 20 second rap, so I don't really blame him. Uh, I don't really like my. It's been 1991 since I rocked uh, the mic. Tony. Okay, it's David. Okay, shut the yeah. fuck up, David. Okay. Listen, listen to the moments when you're supposed to talk. It's after <laughs> I ask you a question. Uh, what's your? Uh, you really married? Yeah. What's yeah. that like? I, it's awesome. I got a great wife. She's super hot. And she has that perfect combination. I find of being, that hard to believe. Yeah, I know. Well, she has a perfect combination of being really hot and having really low standards. So, yeah. yeah. She has What's soft funny skin. There? What's wrong with you? How did you get her? Huh? Uh, well, she's from Thailand. And, uh, oh, yeah. okay. Uh, mail order bride. That's easy. You just fill out the form. That's and, it. Just $15,000. We could all have one of those. Is that, is that stamps? 50,000 in stamps? <laughs> That's it. It's on eBay. Oh, seriously, my wife is so awesome, man. She's great. Her, uh, it's, kinda, it's not creepy. My wife's younger than me, but it's not creepy that she's younger than me. How it's, young is it's, she? It's, it's, it's a little creepy that her mom is younger than me. Though. That's the... Okay, David. Wow. David, David. How, how old's your wife? Uh, 24, 25. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. How long have you guys been married for? Like four or five years. Yeah. Hey, people, you know how many times 40 acres into 24? A lot. <laughs> Who needs fucking Viagra, right? Seriously, Wait, she's great. Where, where did you meet this girl at? Uh, she worked at a bakery. And uh, uh-huh. I said, I'll take an eclair and your number. It's like that, fellas. That's it. Yeah. What kind of fucking bakery was this? <laughs> French. <laughs> yeah, French. She's great. Wow. Yeah. Her mom's a big politician over there. If you would have told me you'd fall in love at a bakery, I would have guessed it was a loaf of bread, or <laughs> perhaps. Not a I fucking know. 21-year-old Thai girl. 24, That's, sir. Well, now she's 24. You said you've been together for four years. Well, she was 20. I'm giving 20. you the benefit oh. of the doubt here. Yeah, she was 20 when we got married. Yeah. How'd you meet her? Was she coloring outside the lines? Yeah. No, I just picked her up. She just got picked up from cheerleader practice, and I... All right, David, okay. stop, just stop, yeah, with, stop trying the jokes, David. Rough Austonians. Finding an I, un- underage girls at bakeries, this fucking guy. Underage? You're He's a, 20? A, a okay. bretophile. Uh, David, um, yeah. <laughs> first time, dude, I'll tell yeah. you. I'll tell you, for your first time, it wasn't. Tr- it truly wasn't all that bad. Thank you. Yeah, 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 it really wasn't. You Appreciate seem like a. You seem yeah, like a, but I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy knows. Jimmy's a real veteran here. Red Band and I talk shit, but Jimmy knows. Jimmy, what do you think this guy should do for the rest of his life? Any advice? I, th- I would go home and fucking eat that 24-year-old's pussy. That's yeah. what I would do. Yeah. The last 
I, I'm sure. Absolutely. Sage I'm sure, advice. I'm sure Thank the you. thing still tastes like peach cobbler. You know yeah. what I mean? Not a lot of water damage down there when you're 24. Thing still has the warranty with it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. The McDonald's last thing I would be fries. doing is telling fucking jokes. Yep. Hell but yeah. That's me. That's me. <laughs> Do you eat her pussy a lot? You eat your girlfriend's pussy a lot? Uh, my wife won't let me have a girlfriend, Tony. She's oh, okay. You eat your wife's pussy a lot? Um. Yeah. Uh, you know. I don't talk a lot about that kind of stuff in public, man. Well, yeah, yeah. we understand that you don't talk about it a lot in public, but you're on a show right now yeah. in which yeah. <laughs> that, would, uh, that would apply. What's your, favorite, what's your favorite move in the bedroom? Uh, s- uh, counterclockwise All right. swirl. All right, there goes David, everybody. Hey, come on. Keep it going. David, 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 David. There you go, David. There you go. There you go. A little souvenir. Still got it. Yeah, hey! And that's Ohio State, The arm bro. comes from Jeez. the Buckeye State of Ohio, what? if you're wondering. No doubt about it. That's right, my friend. Ohio. Hey, would you like a delicious crown and oh, coke? Oh, sure. Is that made with the can, Nick? Oh, wow. That's incredible. Wow. Jimmy, you want a drink? Uh, yeah, I have a vodka soda. Vodka. All right, your next comedian. You guys having fun yet? Yeah! All right. Your next comedian goes by the name of Dakota Hens. Dakota Hensy, perhaps. H-E-N-Z-E. Dakota Hens. Here we go. Here he is, everybody. One more time for Dakota, everybody. Dakota Hens, everybody. I had a pregnancy scare recently. Girl showed up at my work, freaking out. She goes, Dakota, I think I'm pregnant. I go, calm down. Wasn't my first time. I said, what are your symptoms? She goes, I'm bloated. I laid on my period, and I'm throwing up in the morning. And I said, well, I don't know if you got a baby or not, but you sure as shit have an ex-boyfriend. There you are, good. (laughs) I've learned in life that uh, there's only two similarities between a set of good parents and pedophiles. They both know the full cost of rearing a child. I'm not fucking delusional. <laughs> All right. Uh. There you go. I'm moving a little slow tonight. Two jokes from Dakota Hens. Am I saying that right, Hens? Hensy, yeah. Uh, Hensy, all right. Yeah. Very good. Dakota, welcome. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, two years. I didn't do any in 2020 just because shit okay. happened. And, yeah. Okay. Two years. Yes, sir. I love it. What do you do for a living? I am a bartender in Barback, and on Wednesday nights, I run a trivia show in Seguin, Texas. In where, Texas? Seguin, Texas. I live about an hour south of here. Okay. I drive every week with no AC. Wow. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's fucked up. All right. And you're a bar- bartender there? Yes. Yeah, Barback, bartender. Yeah, just kind of... So you're pretty much a Barback. No, 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 no. I mean... Anybody that actually is a bartender would never say the word bar back at all for a second. <laughs> well, I do... Okay, yeah, you're fair. I do both. I do both, but yeah, that's fair. It's a small town, Tony. Okay? It's a small yeah. town, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like someone that broke into a house and murdered somebody. They don't go, yeah, I was in jail because I broke into a house. <laughs> murdered somebody. They also murdered somebody. They murdered someone. You're a bar back. It's all right. No, yeah, okay. That's fair. <laughs> Got it. I love it. So, Dakota, tell us more about you. What, uh, what have you been doing with your life up until this point? Uh, You're thir- I re- 31? <laughs> uh, I am 24. Okie dokie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Zoinks. Um, turns out the water down in Sin Z, Texas ain't the best. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, uh, let's see. I write a lot. Uh, Looks like you've been drinking water out of the well from the ring movie. <laughs> The little, the little goblin girl down there while you're scooping out water. Scooping out water in good old Seguin, Texas. <laughs> okay, yes, go sir. ahead. Keep, ta- keep ta- telling us. Uh, I play a lot of instruments. I play guitar, drums, bass. Uh, I, I can't beat Michael Gonzalez in a drum off. There's no fucking way. There's no way. Um, Jesus fucking Christ. People just keep handing me on? glasses of whiskey. Who drinks like that? It's a show. No, you don't. Red, yeah. Red Band, you get drunk off a drink and a half, so you stop it. Stop. Dakota. Yes, sir. Tell us the most interesting thing about you. Psh, man. 
I've seen like three. I've seen. I've like found like three dead bodies. I've seen two people get hit by a car. What? How is this possible? Uh, well, what are you living in Final Destination, dude? You would think I. Uh, I've seen two people get hit by cars, and then. Uh, yeah, I found uh, found my dad after he killed himself. Oh my God, your father killed himself? Yeah, holy wild. shit! How long ago was that? Uh, That'll add a few years to your age. Yeah, it's probably why I look so old. Uh, no, uh, I was like 16, so a couple few years ago. God damn it, that's horrendous. Yeah, but did he hang it? Shoot, shoot himself? Yeah, he hung himself. He oh. hung himself. Wow. Yeah. Well, how, why, how did that happen? Was he on uh, antidepressants uh, recently? No, uh, he was. Well, he was. Uh, he was like a war dude. He like beat a dude to death with his helmet, and like uh, oh, he like uh, that. yeah, he ended up uh, like just having PTSD and shit like right. that. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I actually started a, a new medication, which is probably why I look so fucking shitty. <laughs> Wait, you started a new medication? Yeah, I started some uh, anti-anxiety and anti-depression meds this week. Okay, all right, that's cool. No, that's not that's not adding. Dear, give this guy a hand. That didn't. You've you've lived a full life already. You're fucking yeah. out of here doing it, dude. I uh, I started. We actually uh, we met once in Detroit. Uh, you gave me some of the best advice. You told me to start watching Kill Tony, and like, I like literally I was doing comedy for probably like two weeks, and then. You said like, well, actually, you were you weren't being genuine. You said uh, I said I said what's the uh, what's the because we're outside Joe Rogan and you are doing your, th- your thing and uh, you co- I uh, you go no ma- no wonder I was a dick. Listen to how long it's taking you to get to the point. Okay, no, I no, had okay. shit to do that night in Detroit. Danny Brown was waiting for you me went, in the green room with a fat you went, blunt. Does anybody want it, want to ask a question to a professional comedian? I am, in fact, one of the top rising comedians in the world. Oh, one of the top young rising, rising com- comedians. That's a very important part, even though I'm almost 40 now. Uh, <laughs> and then one uh, of the I top said, brand. Nobody raised their hand, so I raised my hand, and you said, yes, Donald Trump's fifth illegitimate son. Yeah. And then what did you ask? I said, well, what's your best advice to uh, a young comedian starting out? And he said, watch the Kill Tony podcast live from the comedy store at that, 8 p.m. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Probably got a laugh in the room, right? It was outside in the freezing cold, but yeah, people laughed at me. You're yes. goddamn right they did. <laughs> you got to play to the audience that's in front of you. Yeah. Do you I, ever think about so moving ever, out of the country? Like, you ever think about... Yeah, I'm looking for apartments right now. It's just... It's hard being a bar back and... <laughs> you want to move to Austin? Yeah, so, I do. So you have a dark sense of humor. You have, a, like, a little bit... Of yeah, yeah. Spot. Where's I, Nick at? Get Nick up here. Let's get the owner of Vulcan up here Come real here, quick. Nick. Let's see if we can make something magical happen yeah, right here live in front of this audience. I want to see magic happen. Come on. Where's Nick at? Uh, All right. Nick's not here. Curtis, the general manager of Rogan's new comedy club. Come up here, Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> Curtis. Curtis, what do you think? Can we get this guy as a bar back at the fucking new club? <laughs> hey. will, you, will you at least give him an interview? Wait, there's Nick right there. All right, thanks, Red Band, for the perfect timing of that uh, Nick thing. I got you right here. But it's much better to work at Rogan's new club, so we're going to upgrade from Nick's to... uh, Rogan probably doesn't want somebody that has issues at his club, right? Well, that makes a lot of fucking (laughs) sense. I'm I'm well-behaved. I am a well-behaved man. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Maybe let's just let the show roll here. Keep on track. Curtis, what do you think? Can we get this guy an interview? Hell yeah. I appreciate Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Stop it. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Uh, Thanks I've for been, really clunking that up, Red Band. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. No, this is... Uh, I've been dreaming of this since that night you told me about that. This is literally like fucking dream country. This has been better than I ever thought it would. I but mean, you're ju- you would just be a bar back. Nothing more. Dude, that's... Dude, like, who cares? Like, who gives a shit? This is like what I think I meant to do. Like, who gives a fuck? Well, you're one of the only people I know that even has a shot at getting a job like that. I think it's fitting that it's happening to you. And, you know, you're you're trying to make the right adjustments and get your life on the right track. And maybe get knock knock in some more, do more jokes in a minute than two. Yeah. And I, 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 I have like a slow time. It's just slower. It's hard to do more jokes. It just, I practice in the mirror at my house. So, like, when I'm like stewing there, it's always just slow. So. Are you ever practicing in the mirror at your house and for a second you see the image of your father behind <laughs> you? Just for, just for a quick second. I love looking at the looks on people's faces, the shock and horror. 
Is this uh, a great day for you? You're the only person I know that has an interview set up at Rogan's new club. Dude, and in the no, history uh, of the show, this has never happened before. Dude. Yeah, Holy baby. shit, yeah. Fuck yeah. No, it's awesome. I figure a bar back. I mean, what do you got to lose? What are you going to hire? A brain surgeon for that shit? Let him get the fucking ice and pour it in the bucket, all right? I can do that. Can Ladies do and gentlemen, that was the new minute from Dakota Hensey, everybody. Take one of those. Oh, shit. Uh, we got some. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to bring up another regular. You guys, oh. does that sound like fun? Yeah. This young man was made a regular here in Austin, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, taking the show over like a storm. This is Hans Kim, ladies and gentlemen. Woo. What's up, guys? I think it's funny that when you go to prison, people say, don't drop the soap, because it should be, don't pick up the soap. <laughs> you can drop as much soap as you want. It's the bending over where they really get you. <laughs> Even if you don't drop the soap, you're still going to get raped. You're just going to have really clean hands while it happens. <laughs> Why isn't this working? Who are these rapists? Like, man, I want to get that kid, but he never drops the soap. <laughs> Does he have a butthole? We'll never know. <laughs> rapists aren't like that. They're go-getters. They don't take no for an answer. <laughs> My motherfucking boy, Hans Kim. What the fuck? Holy shit. Every single week, a brand new minute. Absolute destruction every fucking time. Thank you, Tony. I love the way you say thank you, Tony. <laughs> I love it. Makes me hard as a fucking little rocket. <laughs> I love it. Hans, how's this week been going for you? It's been fantastic. I just did acid two days ago. Ooh, wow. Look at that. How did that go? What did you feel like? What did you see? I felt a pain in my tooth. <laughs> wow. And then I, a, what kind of acid was this? <laughs> Is it battery acid? <laughs> I, uh, I realized that I haven't been wearing my mouth guard, so I would grind my teeth and my back molars would get really impacted and then it'd get oh infected. Oh my goodness, look at you. That is the most Asian shit I've ever heard in my <laughs> life. <laughs> Forgot to put on my mouth guard. <laughs> hey, Hans, uh, a couple weeks ago, you brought a date here and then you made out with a girl in front of her. Yeah. What happened to that date? Are you still talking to that girl? Or yeah, is she good she's question. right there. Oh, wow. Look at that. Have you guys been having sex? No. Why? <laughs> Um, she lives in San Antonio, so... Okay, but, like, uh, but on nights when you guys hang out, why aren't, why aren't you guys fucking? Uh, last week was the first time, and this is the second time, so I'm hoping to make some moves tonight. Whoa! What kind of moves are you thinking about making? What are, you, what are we talking about? What would a guy like you do if you wanted to close the deal? Like, what would you say to her? I'd be like, hey, uh, you want to go watch some Planet Earth upstairs? Oh, shit! Damn. You call your dick Planet Earth. I love that. <laughs> that works? You have an upstairs in your van that you live in? <laughs> you just try to trick them? You're like, okay, we're upstairs now. <laughs> and now we're upstairs. These aren't the droids you're looking for. <laughs> oh. Take off your pants. I love it. So, Hans, famously, you have been kissing hot girls on this show for the last five, I believe, five weeks in a row. <laughs> this week, we have had made, I don't know if you've ever seen anything quite like this before, but this is an I Kissed Hans Kim <laughs> official Kill Tony wow. t-shirt. So, I don't know. Even though you're on a fucking date for some reason <laughs> on a show where you're notoriously a slut 
I don't know, I figured maybe I'd give the shirt out if there was a girl out there in the audience that wanted to come up and make out with Hans Kim. Oh, Hans is... I think she Hans wants is, to. Oh, shit! Hans is, we've never oh, seen Hans shit. call come his shot up. like this. Hans is pulling a Babe Ruth right now. <laughs> Wait a second. I don't think... Come on. Maybe she doesn't want to? Is that what it is? Do you think I'm ugly? Are you going to come on stage and shove come your... Come on, oh! do it! Yeah. Oh! This way. She come just on. Come on, come on. Oh, shit. It's me up on the open. Oh, oh. Whoa. Oh, shit. Wait, that wasn't a real kiss. Well, that was a real kiss. That wasn't a real kiss. Jesus no, no, no. Christ. Get back up here. No, get up here. Get up here. That come wasn't on. real. That wasn't real. Come up and get come She can go back come to fucking Sisty, Texas come with on. that attitude. Holy smokes. Kiss what the fuck me. is going? You gotta make out with them. What are these? P- that's a shitty kiss. Huh? That was the most awkward shit I've ever seen in my life. No, Jimmy, hold on a second. Let me take over here for a second. I have never, in the history of the show, seen weaker kisses from girls than these two kisses that I. Is there a girl in this audience that wants to come up here and fucking make out with Hans Kim? There's got to be a hero. Yeah, come up here and play a game of Tatsu hockey with this kid. What kind of shit is this? Do you have an OnlyFans to promote? This is a good time. Someone's going to get this T-shirt. There seems to be some movement from up there. Someone's coming? Okay. All right. You're going to see Hans. Maybe his date will come down. A month ago, Hans wasn't getting any girls to kiss him at all. And now it's a weekly ordeal. This guy knows how to make out, too. Is this happening? Yeah. They just... Oh, shit. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, get the fuck <laughs> out of here. Oh, get the fuck out of here. That ain't right. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good God. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Here you go. God damn. God damn. I sucked the lug nuts off the truck that drove her panties to the Wait, corner. wait, wait. Get back up here. Hold on a oh, second. Wait, wait a who's second. this Hold princess? on. You're one of my favorite oh, characters. Oh, wait, your who's friend. this chick? Bring your friend. You have to make out with Hans, too, if you want to come up here. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. Everybody settle down. All right, all Hans, right. Hans is going to wake up with a load of potato flakes in his pubes tomorrow morning. <laughs> There's nothing funnier to me right now than the disappointed face of the virgin sitting right here in the front. It's like, you got to be fucking kidding me, man. Wow. God damn, you ladies are cool as hell. How does it feel making out with Hans? Grab this microphone. It feels great. Wow. You want to do a minute? Look it's clean, that. right? It's clean. Then you want to do a couple minutes? Oh. No, Jimmy, no. Don't That's ask great. them to do stand up. No, Jimmy. Fuck. The guests always start misbehaving when the hot chicks make out with Hans. <laughs> Jesus. This, is a, this is a new weekly ordeal. Jesus, I'm, fuck, I'm, I'm stiffer than a gay cell at a Ricky Martin concert right now, bro. Jesus Christ. <laughs> a gay sailor at a Ricky Martin concert. <laughs> oh, my God. Are these yellow are, are rose Are you from girls? the yellow rose, red rose? Yes. Wow. This is what I'm talking about. Now the we're cooking with gas. Unbelievable. The best fucking strip clubs Most in the world. beautiful women ever, It right? is incredible. Fuck? Hans, how do you feel right now? I feel like I have to contain myself right now. <laughs> Well, that's what the van is for well, later. When you're, when you're, you can picture. Try to remember their faces when you're fucking the girl that uh, yeah. that you're on this boring ass date on tonight. It's a, it's, it's a good thing he's wearing his sponge underpants. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, Asi- Asians are good at math. So let me tell you, two tens is better than a six. Uh, 
I love it. My favorite is looking at the faces of the women that know they're not tens, just like... And then they realize I'm looking at them, and then they fake laugh. <laughs> well, they're more than welcome to join us tonight. Hey, look at that. Oh. Hell yeah. What do you think? Can we get her to confirm? Will you let these ladies join? Come on down. Yeah, oh kiss the girls. Yes. Jesus Christ. I br- this is why we are the greatest live podcast in the world. Ah! Here in Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. Now, let me remind you, none of this is set up. This is the actual girl. <laughs> oh, shit. It's me on the day. It's me. Make a baby, make me oh my baby. god. Holy. Wait a second. Oh, what shit. Is oh. oh shit. Oh yeah. This is incredible. Hey, what about the other girl? What about the other girl? Wait, oh, what about this there. one? Four way! Oh, it's a four way! Wait. Hey, <laughs> kiss me! Oh, baby, shit! Baby, take our baby with you. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Is this, right, this Kill Tony? Is this Jerry Springer? <laughs> it's What's fucking, going on, bro? I love it. What's going on? This is fucking Kill Boney. Everybody in the room's heart is a rock right now. Look at the look on Hans Kim's face, everybody. I don't think it's... <laughs> wow. Look at this. I like your date now. Your date has a good sense of humor. How many of you think Hans should fuck all of them tonight? Yeah. All right. That's it. The orders have been given. Make the fans proud, Hans. Yeah, an I'll hour and a half after they fuck them, they're going to be horny again. This is the most pussy an Asian man has ever gotten. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, guys, this was a brand new minute and an interview with the great Austin Zone, Hans Kim, everybody. Yeah. Wow. Yikes. Oh, my God. He's still going. Oh, my God. He's get he's gonna kiss them all on their way out. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. 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 Come on, one more time for Hans Kim, everybody. Oh yeah. You're going to have to explain to your grandkids one day when you're showing them this video. You're going to be like, I swear there was a global pandemic going on. (laughs) It didn't make any sense. There's more fucking antibodies on this stage right now than there's... In a Chinese phone book. (laughs) Thank you, Red Band. Thank you, Red Band, for putting that cherry on top. Jesus. You guys having fun out there? Very obviously, dreams come true on this show. Hans Kim. I mean, wow. What a star. All right. I don't know how anyone's going to follow that, but we're going to try it. Ladies and gentlemen, your next comedian out of the bucket goes by the name of Craig Fergola, everyone. Craig Fergola, ladies and gentlemen. Here Craig Fergola, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Craig Fergola. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's time for Craig, everybody. Pang Dan fucked up. That could have been him. <laughs> I, uh, I got called racist the other day. Not for any of the obvious reasons you'd see when you look at my face. My friends wanted to go out to dinner, and I said, no. They said, you're racist. You don't support minority-owned businesses. I said, it's 9.30 in the morning. I don't want to eat fried catfish right now. That's all this is. <laughs> like, what? what do you do to support minority-owned businesses? I said, I buy top-shelf drugs. 
I had a $200 a day habit for like four years. What are you doing? If you buy your drugs off white people, you're racist and bad at buying drugs. I don't know which one's worse, honestly. In my America, no bigots and learn how to buy a good bag of smack. You maybe won't be so racist anymore. White drug dealers always say shit like, you can pay me when you see me next time. When that slang for this shit sucks, you're going to be back in a half hour for more. My dealer's like, we're going to need that money up front because you're probably going to OD and die off this shit. Yeah, wow, Craig there Fajola, you go. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Craig, Craig Fajola. <laughs> Craig, welcome to the show. Is this your first time on here? Yeah, first time on here. Awesome. I love it. What kind of drugs were you buying at $200 uh, well, a day? Well, I, yeah, I was a pretty bad heroin addict for a while. Oh, okay. Uh, hell yeah. All right. <laughs> how, long, how long were you on heroin for? Oh, uh, yeah, like four years. Did you do anything cool? Did you, like, write music or anything? I, or? I got arrested a bunch of times. I don't know how cool that is, but... Did I, you shoot it up or snort it? Snort it and smoked it, yeah. Oh, fag. Wow. Jeez he, just, uh, he actually just featured for yeah, me in another Jimmy club here in town. Oh, cool. We worked together all week. He's a professional comedian. All right, I love it. Yeah. I love it. That. Thanks, I love Jimmy. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just heroin was that? Or was that the well, only? I mean, drug? I I did everything, but okay. that was my that was my main All right. main one. Yeah. What's the most extreme high you've ever gotten? Was it just smoking heroin or snorting it or what? Yeah, snorting it. Yeah, yeah. and like what happened? Like, what's the craziest hey, shit you've ever done? Well, I got a DUI on heroin. Wow, were you drunk as well? No, I just fell asleep and hit a guardrail in front of a cop, and oh. they they pull you over almost immediately when that. Oh happens. hell yeah. yeah. My goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to pull you over yeah, when yeah. you do it yourself. I pulled myself over, actually, because he right. was right there. And I'm like, well, he's, exactly. he's got me at this How point. long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Uh, I, I'm 38 now. I started when I was 30 back in Maine, and then I took like four years off to just do drugs. And yeah. Been here for like... And now he's back. Jeez. Uh, and back. Now I've been he's here back, for like, been here for like four years. Incredible. He's back. 38 back. years old. <laughs> 38 years old. Looks ex- four years as a heroin addict, and you look the same as a 24 year old that was on earlier. It's incredible. It's that sea air growing up in Maine, it keeps you young. Okay, you grew and up he's in fucking Maine. hilarious. He worked with me all weekend. He's fucking hilarious. Yeah, we get it, Jimmy. We get it. He worked <laughs> thanks, with you. He's thanks, hilarious. Jimmy. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> loves heroin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. What part of town do you live in? I live on Riverside. Okay. What's your favorite part about Austin, Texas? I'm a big fan of the creek, I, I, and, and this place too, but I work over at the creek a lot, oh, okay. so that's my favorite uh, Hell yeah. place to hang out. Hell yeah. Okay. No, no I, I probably maybe shouldn't have said we that. We love here, the creek. No, nope. And the well, Romo Room, we su- too. We where support I work everywhere. The Romo Room, <laughs> Rogan's New Club, fucking everything. We love it all. Absolutely. Craig, what's, uh, what's, uh, what do you do for fun now that you're not on heroin? How do you fill <laughs> that void? I, uh, I do a lot of stand-up. I read. I uh, fish. Yeah. Jesus. Anything interesting? No, not really. Wow. No. <laughs> I didn't realize reading cured a heroin addiction. Uh, yeah. Didn't, didn't think it was that easy. <laughs> How'd you kick the habit? Uh, I just stopped. Okay. Wow. Went to a detox for like three days and then just didn't want to go on like methadone and that shit. Three days? So you can break at any time. Yeah. Yeah. How long has it been? Oh, uh, it's been like. Four years ever since I've been an awesome. Player. Okay, years, well, I got some good news for you. We have we have some pure heroin <laughs> here. Uh, Black tar. We Hell make yeah, dreams dude. come true here Hell on yeah. Kill Tony. I mean, I still drink like a fuck. I mean, you have any special skills or talents other than stand up comedy? No, not really. Okay, really no. All right. Very fun. What's your love life like? Anything going on there? I uh, I got a girlfriend, but she's like. Uh, she, she moved home because of the pandemic, so we're like... She moved back to Maine? No, she, she doesn't play now, but... Oh, yeah. okay. She probably looks exactly like you then, huh? <laughs> no, those, she's... Those, those Plano she's, girls are a little bit rough around the edges. She's, you not, know as, I mean? she's not as much younger right, as the, right, uh, the guy you. who had the woman shipped over in the box with the air holes in it, but she is, like, I'm 14 years older than her. Okay. So. All right, Craig. Jeez, relax. <laughs> <laughs> Heroin energy. What else interesting about your life, your life's history, anything, your family, something that happened at school, an award, something? You've done I, something I, with yeah, your life. I other took than second in state in wrestling my senior year in high school. Yeah, but that's main wrestling. Yeah, well, you said that's about as interesting as it gets. Yeah, there was, <laughs> there's like two wrestlers in Maine. 
Is that a, a mole on your cheek, or you, uh, you, no, you burn a, yourself a, with a cigarette or no, something? No, yeah, it's a it's a mole. Yeah, it's a mole. It's they called it a beauty mark when I was growing up, but they weren't. Yeah, know, it's not uh, really it's a beauty. Yeah, mark yeah, I get anymore. it. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Craig. Well, your stand-up was good. You're about as interesting as a fucking uh, bucket of water. But, yeah. uh But here you go. Here's a joke book. Get the uh, fuck out of here. There you go. Ho! Shit. <laughs> Let's keep it moving along. Let's get a real freak up here. Make some noise for your next comedian. I believe it's our first lady of the night. It's Gian Trepanier. Gian Trepanier. Here we go. Yeah. Uh. Here she comes. All right. Make some noise one more time for Gian Trepanier. Quick look down to make sure I zipped up the side of my pants. Give it up for yourselves, everyone. You look beautiful. You look great. Thank you for moving to Austin. You made the fuck you made this town swipe writable, if you know what I mean. Before it was a left, 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 kind of a right. Now it's right, 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 right. All of you, right, right, right. Anyway, give it up for COVID, the real fucking guest of honor tonight. Round of applause, it's somewhere, we're not sure. I don't have it, I know that. I tested negative, and I can tell you that is the first time, uh, this, that's the, I haven't prayed so hard for a negative test since the eighth grade, if I'm being real, Tony, <laughs> you know? And uh, I didn't want, I was really nervous that everybody would find out my secret at middle school graduation, right? I didn't want to walk around the stage. No, no, no. That's what I let the vice principal believe because I was catfishing him. <laughs> okay. Jeanne Trepanier with a minute of stand up comedy. Okay. Give it up for yourselves. Thank you for moving to Texas. Give it up for COVID. Something, something, left, left, right, 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 right. And I haven't prayed for a negative test since the eighth grade. Why would you want a negative test in the eighth grade? Depends on the test, but... It doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. What test did you guys think it was? <laughs> yeah, that's oh, the joke. Oh, no, nobody thought that. No, <laughs> nobody thought. Nobody laughed. I'm built like an altar boy, I guess. <laughs> If you were built like an altar, altar boy, boy, I'd be more into you. You know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm joking, Gian. I hear you. Gian, I loved you as uh, John Thank Travolta's you. wife in the movie Face Off. Thank uh, you. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, no, right. no, it was Nicolas Cage's girlfriend. So I, even I <laughs> fucked it up. Your energy. Everybody fucks up their jokes when you're on stage, That's Gian. Cool. That's cool. I love it. It's Very cool. few Thank female so comedians much. wear backwards jeans on the show, so I'm excited that you're here. <laughs> A lot of people wear I their pants the right I had them unzipped right earlier, way. and I was like, why is my hip so cool? Gian, how long have you been doing stand-up? <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> a month. Okay. However, <laughs> no, no, Couldn't no. tell. No, I did stand up <laughs> after college in L.A. for a little while, but I've lived in Austin. Like I, That was another lifetime, it feels like. How but long ago did you move to Austin? Eight. I uh, just moved here about eight years ago. Eight years ago. <laughs> for Joe Rogan. <laughs> Wow. Are you on heroin right now? No, no, no. no. This is incredible. This is natural she, me. She got into Chris Fajola's bag. I bro. sell it. This is natural me. I sell it in a bottle if you want it. Okay. <laughs> on, I, online. Hit me up on my OnlyFans. Gian, hell yeah. You have cat lady energies. Uh, how many cats do you have? Tell the truth. Zero. Fuck really? Em. Fuck it. You no. have animals? So I did have Gotta cats have a fish when I was tank a kid. Real story. I had cats when I was a kid, but if you don't spare, neuter them, they get pregnant no matter what. So if you have two cats that go out in the wild, this Gian, is Gian, shut the Jesus fuck up. Christ. Oh, my God. You're so annoying. It's incredible. <laughs> I love you, Tony. What do you do for uh, work? Uh, we'll say construction. Why would you say construction? Why would you do that in a million true. years? it's true. I fucking work in construction. Because she's not finished. <laughs> <laughs> okay, even if you did do construction, why would you say that we will say construction? Why wouldn't you just say construction? I don't know that you would buy that. 
I think you would buy that. I don't think you're giving me like side. You already made fun of my laugh. Aww. Oh I my god! You out on. I love you and your and your Western. What do you do, really? do really? What do you really do? I do work in construction. What do you do 100%. in construction? What do you do? Do you work she's the crane? Chick, Anything she's they need. She's a chick with the sign. Whatever they need. Go. I work for my brother's Stop. company. Okay. My so yeah. like, Go. what do you end up doing? Stop. Like, Anything what type they of... ask because I'm the little So sister. what do you end up doing? So what do they ask for, Gian? Everything. Jeanne? There goes Gian Trepanier, everybody. There she goes. Here you go. There you go. Unbelievable. Ho! Oh, my God. All right, all right, all right. Jesus fucking Christ. God damn it. Can't answer basic fucking quests. Everything! Everything! That lady is going to be single and die alone forever. I promise you. That's horrible, Tony. Oh, it's horrible indeed. Everything about it was horrible. She didn't have the personality of a gay snail. (laughs) I mean, oh my God! Well, what does your brother ask you to do? Everything. I bet not jokes. I bet he doesn't want to hear many of those. Give it up for yourself. <laughs> Give it up for COVID. Thank you for moving here. God. Oh. Jesus fucking Christ. And by the way, still the seventh funniest female comedian in the world right now, by the way. That's how crazy comedy is. It's a drought. There's a drought. Your next comedian goes by the name of Winston Shaw, everyone. Winston Shaw! Jesus Christ. I swear to God. I swear to God. If shit doesn't change in here in a second, I'm bringing Hans Kim back up here to make out with more girls. <laughs> All right, this is Winston Shaw. Let's give him a nice, fresh start. Anything can happen. This What's is Winston up, Austin? Shaw. How are we doing? I shouldn't have fucked up like that last girl. Okay, uh, let's get the elephant out of the room. This is a very old-fashioned name. I'm well aware. I've been told by several people. Uh, I have not met another human named Winston in my entire life. I'm from Tennessee. It's fucking dogs, cats, and a fucking chicken last week. Not a lie. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, People assume I'm named after Winston Churchill, which, like, I wish was the case. You know, I don't, I didn't go to school very long. I don't know too much, but apparently he was a hero. I don't know which side he fought for, but it was in a war and he was good at it, you know. I wish that was the case. Uh, Unfortunately, I'm actually named after the cigarettes my mother smoked (laughs) when she was pregnant with me. Yeah. A little bit about me. Nice to meet y'all. Middle name is Menthol. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, Some people feel bad, though, when I tell them that. They're like, oh, God, that sucks. Like, you do not feel bad for me. You join me in feeling bad for my little brother. His name is Newport, and his middle name is 100s. I count my fucking blessings, you know? I am not complaining. FaceTime. Fuck yeah, Winston Shaw. Good stuff, my friend. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. You got there. We got there somehow, some way. I that love was, it. Yeah. You are adorable. <laughs> Thank you. How Thank long you. has it been since you graduated from Hogwarts? <laughs> Look at you. You young, wizardly looking fellow, you. How old are you? Uh, I turned 22 today. 22 years. This is your birthday today? Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. What an exciting show this is. I yeah. love it, Winston. How long have you been on stand up? Uh, like. 16 months. Okay, 16 months. You're counting it like it's a baby. Yeah. Not a year and a half or so, but 16 months. I love it. Goo goo gaga. <laughs> I love it. What do you do for work? You a bag boy at an HEB? No, I actually, I sold cell phones for a long ass time. You sold cell phones for a long time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what kind of cell phones? Uh, whatever was paying. It was on commission, so it was like I'd sell a fucking flip phone if it paid. You okay. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right. Jesus, you sound like you'd suck a dick to sell a cell phone. I mean, fucking anything, Tony. Fucking flip phone, you could flip me over. What does selling cell phones mean? Usually you're like, I work for T-Mobile or Verizon. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell us more about the setup. No, he worked at a kiosk in a mall, right? No, no, God, no, no. That was a... Hell no, that's the bottom of the barrel that's out there. That's bad news, yeah. Those you're aren't the your, kind yeah. of cell phones you're selling. You're on your way out when you're at the kiosk. Yeah, so it's like, uh, they don't tell you that you're a salesman. You just have to like... Verizon like contracts like outside salespeople to sell phones for them. Wow. So yeah, 
It's fun stuff. A lot of people coming in from AT and T going, "Fuck AT and T, get me yeah, this yeah, fucking." Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. Right. And then you convince them that you're the best, and yeah. then they get their first bill and cuss you out. Okay, yeah. so you're 22 years old. You you live here, born and raised here in Austin. No, I moved here five days ago. From where? Uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Wow, that's yeah. the home of William Montgomery, our oh, lights yeah, out yeah. Uh, closer. Yeah. I love that. You know about William Montgomery. He's yeah. a legend there. Oh, yeah, yeah, We went to the, uh, the same school. I got kicked out. He graduated. But right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you get kicked out of school for? Uh, there's, like, this thing. If you're on academic probation, you have to do your homework in, like, this room. And I went to Chick-fil-A instead. I just, oh, like, I can't blame you on that, yeah. dude. Yeah. Yeah. We all love Chick-fil-A here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, Chick-fil-A. I had their breakfast today. It was great. It's, it's the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> This is our, our chief fat correspondent, hey. Brian Red. By the way, don't sleep on Chick-fil-A breakfast, man. That's oh. right. There you go. Thank you. Uh, so, Winston, you're 22 years old. Tell us, what are 22-year-olds doing for fun nowadays? Smoking pot. What Pretty else? Much. What do you do after you smoke pot? You just sit there? Yeah, have a panic attack, pretty much. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. How long have you been smoking pot for? Oh, man, so like six. 17, I think. Yeah. Okay. It's a little bit. But there, there's nothing you like to do afterwards? or like No, it's like the battle of the anxiety. That's just like, that's the day. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. Sometimes you just got to be scared. And when you're not smoking pot, anything else that you do at all in the world? Uh, I used to be a boxer, so that's like... Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You're yeah, a boxer? Yeah. I used to be. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. It was a nightmare. Yeah. yeah. His sponsors used to advertise on the bottom of his shoes. Ding! Eat at Joe's. <laughs> you do seem like you would suck at boxing. How about we get a little bit of uh, how about we get a little bit of Rocky music? Let's show us put the mic in the mic stand. Show us some of your shadow boxing here. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Oh shit. Wow. Oh wow. Oh. Wow. Oh, oh my god. Oh shit. Wow. Whoa. For those of you just listening to the podcast, the shadow won. Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. He just lost a round, a 10-8 round to the shadow. Oh. That was like watching <laughs> Logan Paul and <laughs> Floyd Mayweather fight. Because the shadow won. Oh. Um, it's just good old funny. Either way, you cut it right there. Winston, what's your love life like? You seem like you would come by pulling your zipper down. Yeah. You, uh, you a premature ejaculator? It was a uh, no. I mean, I just, what's premature? I think that's a, like a, a subjective thing, you know. Like it's a guy. Guy looks like he's been beaten off like Migs from Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> Silence oh. of the Lambs. What, what did Migs say to you, Clarice? Oh, it stings. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> tell us about your love life. What's it like? Uh, it was decent in Tennessee. Down here, I haven't met nobody. Really? Yeah. Because no, it... there's nothing but hot chick after hot chick in fucking Austin. Oh, there's I a lot. I can see yeah. how you can have a tough time. It, he... He's one of the hot chicks that... Uh... Dude, I got news for you. I've been walking around this town. I got whiplash like one of Roseanne Barr's refrigerator magnets. Oh, my God. <laughs> hot pussy. Hot pussy. Hot pussy. How do you do oh. it? <laughs> Jimmy... Jesus, Jimmy. Danielle Rawlings, stop putting yeah. the mic up. So yeah, dropping the mic's a little bit rough I'm in the sorry. podcast world, but it's okay. Jimmy's, Jimmy can get away with anything. We'll edit it out. We'll edit it out. It'll make a, a silly noise when it hits. Just a uh, zooka. Uh, Winston, what else about your life? Are your parents really, like, trashy? Do they really name you, like, after cigarettes? Like, what are we talking about uh, here? So, like, they tell me they didn't, but mom's like a chimney, so I don't I don't doubt it, you know? Wow. She's like a chimney because a lot of uh, black stuff goes inside of her? <laughs> oh, come on! I don't know. I'm just trying to make it a comedy show, people. <laughs> you can groan all you want, you assholes. They pay Fucking the pussies. Wow. <laughs> so quick. <laughs> That's right. That was quick. Thank you. It. Winston it. enjoyed it more than you f- yeah. fucks. She's like a- I just switched from the word fag to fucks <laughs> there. Uh, just that I yeah. didn't go too hard. I'm Shit. allowed to say that word because I get called it regularly. She's like a chimney. Cause by she's guys like- that look like the virgin here. She's like a chimney because... She's like a chimney because she has a guy come in once a month just to sweep it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Jimmy. It's all right, it's um, all right. Nobody's getting their chimneys cleaned anymore, Jimmy. Who <laughs> <laughs> does that? Jimmy lived when there was actual <laughs> chimney sweepers. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Poppins, huh? <laughs> 
bro, it's a real job. Don't fuck you. Go fuck yourself. All right. Winston. Uh, incredible stuff for 16 months. I loved it. You did jokes. You got there. You made Thank fun of you, yourself. Man. You made fun Thank of your you. life. We learned about you in the 60 Thank seconds. You, this is a real big joke book from Bones Eye Winston. Happy birthday, dude. How about a big hand for Winston Shaw, everybody? What do you think? Back to the bucket one more time, huh? Oh, yeah. What's your story? You having fun tonight, tough guy? Look at this New Yorker right here. The fuck out of here. Are you really New from Yorker. New York? Yeah. Are you from New York? Jersey. <laughs> Jersey. He's a fireman. Oh, I'm good. He's a fireman. You know that guy? No, I could tell. All right, you're drunk. <laughs> Red Band's officially drunk, everybody. Charlie Bringus, your final bucket comedian of the night. Charlie Bringus, everyone. Here we go. Here comes Charlie Boy. Oh, little Charlie Bringus. You guys having fun out there? Make some noise one more time for Charlie Bringus. How's it going, guys? Uh, before I get started... I just want to take a moment to be serious. Right before I got up on stage, I got a phone call from one of my relatives, and she let me know that my grandfather is no longer here with us. So tonight, I want to take this opportunity to dedicate my set. I don't have a beer or anything, but I want to dedicate my set to my abuelito. I just want him to know that he will always be here in spirit. Cheers, guys. He didn't die or anything, motherfucker just got deported. <laughs> what up, Vulcan Gas Company? How you guys doing tonight? Austin, Texas. I come from a small town called Laguna Heights. If anybody says they come from Laguna Heights, they either do drugs, they sell drugs, or if you're lucky enough, they do both. Can you guess which one I am? The snitch. That's right. Who said that? That's my time, guys. Thank you. There you go, Charlie. Bring us. Wow. I mean, we're really getting some heavy hitters tonight. 44 seconds in. What up, Vulcan Gas Company? 44 seconds out of a possible 60 seconds. Yeah. You spent, I believe that measures out to, I think, about like 72% of your set Lying about your dead, I wrote it down, Wadito. Uh, <laughs> W-A-D-I-T-O is how the white man spells that. It's all right. <laughs> so that we can enunciate it properly afterwards. <laughs> Wadito. So do you have a grandfather? Yeah. And he's alive and well. He got deported. He's running the cartel now. Uh, okay. Let's just, let's, just stay, let's just stay serious here, all right? I swear. You swear. I swear. When did he get deported? Just last week. I don't believe anything you're saying no. anymore. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. But did he really get deported last week? No, I'm just joking. Okay, well, don't joke oh. anymore. You didn't want to do it during your set, so let's not start now. <laughs> <laughs> it's too easy sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes you people roast yourselves. I just put a period on the end. <laughs> Charlie. Is your grandfather alive and well and in the United States of America? Um, are the feds watching? Charlie, this is not going well. <laughs> I implore you to listen to the questions that I'm asking and answer honestly. Okay. Let's try it again. You remember the question that I asked you? No. It's about your grandpa. Yeah. You remember the rest of it? Is he alive and well in the he United States? No, he's not alive and well in the United States. Is he dead? He's dead. Okay. When did he die? Uh, a couple years ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. There you go. Thank you. Charlie, what do you do for work? Um, I work at an axe place, axe throwing place. So if anybody wants to go down in South Austin. Okay. Can you make yourself the target when you get to work tomorrow? <laughs> I'll take a. I'll How take long have you been doing stand-up? How long have you been doing stand-up comedy, Charlie? Two years. I took a year off, and uh, this is my first day back. Wow. I think it's time to take another year off, Charlie. <laughs> is there any redeeming qualities about you, or is there anything that you could say right now that'll make the audience like you or cheer or anything? Uh, I'll take an application to the Rogan. Um... No, you won't. I wash mean dishes, bro. You're going to be throwing axes for the rest of your life. I lives. guess so. <laughs> I promise you. 
Charlie, I find you uh, to be uh, the worst type of human to sign up for the show. Not only was your set morbid, it was also a tremendous big lie. I'm having trouble getting real answers out of you during this part. So let it be a lesson for everyone pulled out of the bucket. Don't do that shit. <laughs> but I'm going to send you on your way. There goes Charlie Bring Us. We're going to go to this bucket one guys. more time. I can't. The bucket. I can't. We're going to the bucket. So many people signed up. We've had some real stinkers. Not even a small joke book for you, by the way. You just keep walking, dude. I'm sending it to your grandfather. Okay. This young lady famously, uh, believe it or not, her and Hans Kim were uh, not dating, but they were hanging out for a little while. She's been on this show multiple times in Los Angeles and here in Austin. This is a new minute from Isabella Charlton, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Here we go. Isabella! A real Austin comedian. I'm getting the cutthroat symbol. Is she not here anymore? No? Isabella! She left? Wow. Oh, oh no! Wow, that sucks. Sucks for her. Your final comedian of the night goes by the name of Tyler Braun, everyone. Tyler Braun. Here he comes. Hell yeah. Look at this fucking guy. Come on, it's your final comedian out of the bucket tonight. This is Tyler Braun. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, everybody. How's it going? I just got this sweet new cell phone. It comes with all these nice new features, you know? Turns out you can disable those Amber Alerts you guys are getting all the time. Does that make me an asshole? I mean, what do they really expect me to do? Like, turn around and bring them back? I've almost got enough to start the fight club, guys. I gotta see this through, you know? Um, so I'm a math teacher for a living. <laughs> I teach school children. Yeah. I work in these specialized facilities for at-risk youth, or as I call them, recruiting centers. Uh, um, yeah, it's a good, it's a good job. Uh, I did move here to Austin, Texas, because they had me teaching virtually, and then they fired me immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out they don't like you saying dirty shit about the kids on stage. Well, that's terrible. Um, so yeah, if anybody needs their dick sucked over the show, let me know. A little short on cash. Um, <laughs> waiting for that. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tyler Braun. You look like a Tyler Braun. Look at you. Thanks, man. Hell yeah. How you doing, man? How old are you? Uh, 31. Okay. How long been on stand up? Uh, about two months. Two months. Yes, what sir. made you start now? Uh, I mean, if we're being honest, everyone came here for you know Joe Rogan. Yeah. I moved here from Hawaii two months okay. ago. Okay. Like, you really moved here because Joe Rogan said he moved here? Well, yeah. I mean, Austin Comedy. Oh wait, the Austin Comedy scene is blowing up because of him. So it's not like I was like, oh, I'm in love with Joe. Yeah. Go see him. Yeah. No, but, I yeah. I get it. But you moved here strategically because the comedy scene is getting big here. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hell yeah. And you've been listening to Joe's podcast for a long time, even though you listen. Obviously, you skip all the health parts. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Right, when he's talking about Absolutely kettlebells and shit. Yeah, we, we have him here, actually, right now. Uh, Joe, you saw his set. Is there anything uh, that you'd like to say about his set? Kids' Just, ideas are so stupid. Oh, wow. That's interesting. What do you think about his joke about uh, virtual learning? That's not healthy. Right. <laughs> no, he has not. a real position on that. Yeah, I don't even have to get up to go to the if car. You, if you could ask Joe any question in the world right now, what would it be? You're, you've been a fan for a long time. Hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, what did the mechanical elves tell you on the other side of that DMT trip? Maybe, Jesus. Maybe ah! <laughs> there you go. Okay. That, that. All right, Tyler. Um, I love it. You're really a math teacher? Yes, sir. Perfect. You're shaped like a rhombus, so that makes complete sense. Um... I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, how long have you been teaching math for? Why math? Um, I went to school for mechanical engineering, uh, sold a bunch of drugs, found my way out to Thailand teaching scuba. And then you Hawaii. went to Thailand? Yeah. Wow. How was it over there? It was beautiful. You know? Did you come back with a wife? No, not, not as lucky as that guy. No. You have a wife? You have a girlfriend? No, not currently. No? no? Really? Yeah. Oh. Why do you think that is? How long uh, have you been single for? Uh, this time around, I don't know, maybe six months. 
Okay. I, broke up, I broke up with a girl that I was dating uh, in Florida. Put the Florida. mic closer to your mouth. Yeah, I was uh, dating a girl in Florida and I took off to Thailand. Uh, and I was like, yeah, this is a one-way trip, babe. Sorry, this isn't going to work out. Wow. And then I've uh, been kind of a... Yeah, I've been a kind of a dirtbag since. What do you mean, <laughs> you dirtbag? What does that mean? Well, I don't know. I just... Uh, I'm, I'm lying, actually. I've been the opposite. I haven't really wanted to have sex with anybody that I wasn't going to take seriously, so... I'm in that, like, too picky stage, but then, obviously, like, what, what business do I got being picky? Oh, you're right. a sweetheart. Okay. Red band, thank you. Uh, Tyler, yeah, so no. you have any special skills or talents? You good at anything? You just started stand-up two months ah, ago. Shit. What have you been doing up until this point? You play music or uh, anything? No, just uh, been out hitting the springs and... Uh, Hitting I came last week prepared with a Rubik's Cube. Um, you brought a Rubik's Cube with you? I fucked up you? this week, though. You're a Rubik's Cube kind of guy? I'm one of those guys, yeah. Wow. Yeah, because that's hilarious when a guy solves one of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's a silly skill. Um, I love yeah. it. How long can you, like, you know, if, if you were to, like, solve a Rubik's Cube, how long does it usually take? About a minute. I'm not one of those freaks that can really? do it in 10 seconds. But, yeah. A minute? Um, yeah, I, I, that's why I f- figured it'd be a good Just thing. incredible. Yeah. Incredible yeah. stuff, yeah. Tyler. Wonderful stuff, wonderful stuff. Um, I love it. Cool. What else? Like, what else about you? Any fun facts about your life? What would we be interested to find out about you? Uh, like I said, I mean, I, I sold drugs and that, you know, funded my traveling around the world. I did a bunch of European Come on, we've all sold and, fucking yeah, drugs, yeah, yeah. you boring fucks right, tonight. Well, yeah. Jesus Christ. So I backpack Where'd you Europe. move from? Where'd you come here from? Uh, Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, okay. And it, uh, you lived there your whole life? No, just the past three years. I moved there from Thailand. Scuba okay. diving, yeah. What'd you move there for? Scuba diving. I got a job off. You're a life. scuba diver? Yeah. Get the very fuck buoyant, out of here. You know? Easy Naturally to get buoyant. to the bottom, huh? Yeah, very easy. Jiminy crickets. A pile of crickets. My God, this is incredible. Scuba diving. Yes, sir. Lots of fun. Jesus fucking Christ, Hanging man. Hanging out with Nemo. You do, anything like, uh, you do anything fun since you moved here to Austin? What's your favorite part of Austin? Uh, I did a little bike riding down on the Villa Way. Saw some deer, some rabbits. I mean, that's yeah, what do you do to them? You can tell, right? You know. I don't know what to do with these okay, people. Yeah, I, know. I don't know what to do. Tyler, uh, Jimmy, you have anything else for Tyler? What do you think about this guy? I, I, Tyler, thanks for coming out. I think I, I, think I should close... I think, I, I, think, I, think I, I, th- I think I should close the show with an actual minute of stand-up comedy. There it is. Oh, you want to? You want to do a minute? Tyler, there goes Tyler Braun. Tyler, here you go. Tyler, on, take Tyler, one of these. Everybody. There you go. There you go. Tyler Braun. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a minute of stand-up comedy from the great, the powerful Jimmy Schubert, everybody. Oh! Austin, fucking great to be here. I love that nobody's wearing a mask. You know, people are like fucking, some people wear a mask, other people don't want to wear a mask. I like the people that walk around with the nose hanging over the top of the mask. It's like, what the fuck are you even doing? That's like putting a condom over your balls. That doesn't make any fucking sense. You, you gotta wear the fucking mask. You, you ever drink coffee all day and sneeze into the mask? That's the new shit in your pants. It's like, fuck, I. I can't wear this fucking thing. I've had it up to here with this shit. I'm ready for a Chinese hooker from Wuhan province with nitchy crotch and a runny nose to sneeze right in my fucking face. Let's get it over with. I can't fucking live like this shit. What the fuck happened to us? I mean, what happened to us? I, was in, I just wanted a cup of coffee this morning. I'm at the Starbucks. I drink coffee because I'm American. I got shit to do. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not European. I don't have three hours in the middle of the afternoon to dick off and sit around and sip espresso. Bonjour, como te livo? Get the fuck out of my way. I want some coffee. And this guy standing in front of us, I have a triple passion fruit tea latte with soy milk, no sugar added, some sugar free vanilla with a bump of almond syrup, two pumps raspberry, little foam, little whip vente. It's like, why don't you just order a cup of sperm, you fucking weirdo? It's a coffee shop. Thank you. Good night. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You didn't do my favorite joke of all time. Jimmy, fun fact. Favorite joke. So this morning, I go to get breakfast here in Austin. I go to this fucking diner. You don't got to fucking twist my arm, Tony. All right. I open the refrigerator. The light comes on. I do 15 minutes. That's the kind of entertainer I am. I'm at the breakfast place. 
they had a thing on the menu called a protein scramble. I'm going, that sounds healthy. Then they read the ingredients. Basically, it's an egg omelet with chunks of chicken meat in it. It's a chicken omelet, which is fucking raw. You don't take the eggs out of the chicken and then cook the chicken and put it in the eggs. That's, that's too much chicken. Who, who the fuck's... Who the fuck's back there cooking? Some kind of chicken cereal killer? People, that's an omelet that spans two generations of chicken. That's, that's not breakfast, that's a vendetta. Who the fuck's ordering breakfast? Tony Soprano? I want the chicken dead. I want his family dead. I want his unborn babies dead. I want his fucking chicken coop burned to the ground. That's not right. That's like taking your hamburger and dipping it into your milk. It's not right. I like chicken. I just don't like it in eggs. That's the creepy part. I'm a meat eater. You know, God made animals slow enough to catch. He obviously intended for us to eat them. Besides that, what's the fun in hunting a vegetable? Anybody can sneak up on a carrot. I don't even trust vegetables because they get the nutrients from the dirt. I'm going, yeah, would you eat dirt? No. Then why eat the fucking middleman? That's what I'm saying. Some of that shit's not even food. Celery, that's not food. That's just dental floss trapped inside a carbohydrate. And I was reading about celery. Celery's actually fucking dangerous. It's classified as a negative calorie food. There's two calories in one stick of celery. But if you eat it, it takes your body 10 calories to process it. You could kill yourself eating celery. I mean, if that's all you ate. Sir, I'm fucking joking. This guy's staring at me like he's for the National Celery Growers Association. I didn't come to Austin to bad mouth celery. To, to tell you the truth, now that you bring it up, celery does have one good use, according to Peter North. Ah, a couple people working a very healthy online porn addiction. For the rest of you Christians, Peter North happens to be a very famous male porno star. He's known for the amount of fluid that comes out during Climax. It's quite substantial and pretty impressive, and he does it on a consistent basis. A couple years ago, he's in Vegas at the Adult Video Awards, and they asked him, they said, Peter, what's your secret? He said, I eat lots and lots and lots of celery. It's a water-based vegetable. It acts as a natural Viagra. It just fills me up. I don't even have a joke for that. I'm just passing along the information. Put it on the shopping list for the special occasion. Jimmy Thank motherfucking you. Super, Come on, ladies Tony and gentlemen. Oh. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's what you do. That's respect. That's how it works. Woo! Booyah. Booyah. Chicken omelet, by the way, is one of my favorite stand-up comedy jokes of all time. Uh, famously now for, uh, I mean, you're just a monster. I should have mentioned we do have one more comedian, Jimmy. Uh, oh, <laughs> we have one more regular. One that more. was perfect, though. That was perfect. Come this on. guy's a closer. Ladies and gentlemen, this. You guys have been fans of the show for a while. I'm sure some of you, you know this guy is the longest standing regular in the history of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Big Red Machine. This is William Montgomery, everybody. Yeah! Hey. <laughs> uh, normally at this point, I'm joking about having COVID, but I actually have mono <laughs> right now. So let's just keep it moving. The best part about drinking with twins is you can drink twice as much and it'll soak up the same. <laughs> hey, Red Band, remember the times before trains? It's when I ran wagons on your great-grandmother. <laughs> What's the difference between the Taliban and the Democratic Party? I don't donate money to the Democratic Party. Joe Biden asked his son Hunter Biden what they should do about this Afghanistan debacle, and Hunter replied, maybe I should bang my dead brother's widow. Wow. 
ladies and gentlemen, this is William Montgomery, everybody. A new minute every single week for years, and somehow he yes. still smashes the hammer. He's yes. got brand new eyebrows. What are you talking about? <laughs> Those are beautiful eyebrows. They look really good. I don't know what y'all are talking about. <laughs> This they match your beard so well. I love them. This it matches great. perfectly. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. I don't think it does. <laughs> is your hair in a ponytail tonight? It's not. No, it's just greased back. Oh, I love okay. the shirt. I like it's real hard the, right now. Is that shirt from the JC Penny Unfuckable Collection? Where did you get that number? <laughs> I, uh, I think we give Peter Max a headache. I stole it off of eBay. Hey! <laughs> William, I love that set. We missed, uh, Red Band and I missed that second joke you did that got a thunderous applause after the mono joke. We Something were, about me. We were doing some production stuff. Can you repeat it one more time for us just so that we could hear it? Hey, Red Band, remember the times before trains? It's when I ran wagons on your great-grandmother. <laughs> wow, that's... Me. Wow, that's a great... <laughs> That's great. Jesus, it was even funnier the second time. That's incredible. It's really funny when Red Band hears the joke about his great-grandmother <laughs> getting wagons run on her. That's incredible. She gave me marbles. There you go. <laughs> she gave you marbles? No, yeah, don't acknowledge it, William. We move forward. Uh, I like this new hat you have. You have it on the uh, mic stand. This is classy. Much Thank like you so me, much. we are really embracing the Texas uh, styles here. Where have you, have you gone? Have you, did you go somewhere special to get that hat or that shirt or something? Uh, yeah, I went to Walmart uh, <laughs> two days ago. Yeah. Ended up yeah. stealing it. Uh, I he's, was em a he's embraced the Texas fashion from the waist up. From the waist down, he looks like an accountant. Yeah, that is true. You're wearing your father's <laughs> belt tonight. That belt is not Texas at all. It's like Bucky's on top, Kinko's on bottom. You know, like <laughs> there you go. All right. What did you use to grease your hair back like that? It is a spray. It's yeah. an aerosol spray. Yeah. Yeah, I did it for like a minute or two earlier. It's yeah. hard as a rock. It looks like there's a lot in there. I don't think you need to use that much. <laughs> it's hard as a fucking rock right now. How hard is it? It's as hard as a fucking rock right now. Yeah? My hair is as hard as a fucking rock right now. My hair is so fucking hard right now. It's like a fucking rock. It is so heavy! I can barely hold up my head! Are you wearing glitter? I do you have... Got a there, glitter. We are seeing shades of glitter uh, coming bro, off of your face. You're very sparkly tonight. No, From I From the waist you're up, you're sparkly, bro. <laughs> Were you making out with Hans Kim earlier? Or what's going on here? No, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking How'd about? How'd you get glitter on your face? He was fighting a hooker earlier. There's a substantial amount about? of glitter. You don't know about this? No. Oh, okay. Who did your eyebrows tonight? <laughs> there is fucking nothing on my face. There's nothing on my face. It really is, though. Yeah, you, have, you have glitter bro, all over your face right bro, now. I don't hair. think I have anything on my fucking face. Why do you keep talking about it? Seriously, why do you keep talking about it, Red Bean? I don't have shit on my face. I mean, William. seriously, it looks like your, my grandmother sat on your face okay. earlier. Oh, my God. So stupid. Why would your grandmother have glitter on her ass? Because she cause she's fucking a works the poles, man. Christ. Yikes. <laughs> Zoinks. <laughs> William, you do anything interesting this week? Oh, man. I did so much stuff. We found out a few weeks ago that you have a new addiction. You stopped drinking. It's been months now. And you filled your drinking addiction with an addiction to raisin bread from H-E-B. I have. Uh, how much raisin bread did you eat this week? A loaf and a half. I'm trying to, I'm trying to wean myself off of it. It really is way too much. You've, you ate a loaf and a half. A loaf and a half. What did you do with the other half of that one loaf? What did, uh, the, I'll throw it away. 
You threw it away? Yeah. Did you have to like? Is, does that work, or do you? Does like the trash can talk to you after that, or like? I know. Have talk you thought about it. perhaps <laughs> flushing it down the toilet or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I will normally get it out of the trash can. Yeah. I can picture you doing that. That's fun. What else this week? Anything else other than raisin bread? Just a bunch of ghosts in the apartment. Oh, yeah. This is true. We've heard of this. William does believe that his apartment is haunted. It's haunted as shit. Yeah. What did you see this week? I see shit in my peripherals the entire time. I see shadow people. I'm not kidding. Are you you sure it's just not eyebrow juice getting into your (laughs) eyes? No. No. Bro, it is haunted. There's, there's an there's a entity walking around his apartment that won't pay the rent. It's fucking scary. <laughs> My roommate. <laughs> That's the <laughs> truth. Is, that was one of the worst improv moments I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Jimmy. Oh, my God. I love it. William, you have new eyebrows. You have a new style about you. How are you loving Austin, Texas? You feel good good here? I have a new lease on life. Yeah? How long is the lease for? Yeah, I'm kidding. A couple of months. I have a couple of more months. Yeah. So you're going to buy raisin bread this week? I probably will. I am really excited about it. I don't know if y'all eat it often. It is so delicious. How hard is your hair right now? It's as hard as a fucking rock. Yeah. Bro, if someone went out, if someone got shot and a bullet went off and it would hit his head, it would ricochet off. It's a good, <laughs> it's a good solid hairdo. <laughs> I love it. William, uh, you're an absolute legend on this show. You are uh, just an unbelievable star. The way that you write, the way that you execute, you set a standard for, I think, everyone... And uh, we absolutely love you, William. How about a hand for William Montgomery, everybody? That's it. How about one more hand for the band, everybody? The Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey Kill Tony Band. Thank you to the Yellow Rose, the Red Rose, the incredible SoCo... The SoCo uh, Art Gallery. I'm going to hand for the band again. These guys are phenomenal. Let them know, ladies and gentlemen. These guys are unbelievable. And how loud can this place get for the legend, Jimmy Schubert, everybody? Tonight's drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt. Check that out. All the way in Los Angeles, he drew that. That's tonight's episode. Oh, wow. Jimmy Schubert, me as Dracula, Red Band's a cat. All these prints are available at RyanJEbelt.com, including the new bingo cards. and Those bingo cards, by the way, have been like going off the <laughs> yeah. this chart. Man. People That's are loving awesome. it. People are playing. People are actually hitting bingo. It's possible. Uh, it's all happening. Make sure you follow Jimmy Schubert on tour at JimmySchubert.com. That's S-H-U-B-E-R-T, all one word, JimmySchubert.com. He's got a new special on there. It's all there. Go to JimmySchubert.com. Get some merch. Get it done. Uh, shout out to CM Smokehouse. Shout out to Boneseye, Canteen and Cantina, Crown Royal, and uh, and uh, Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey. And, of course, how about one more time for the ladies of the Yellow Rose and the Red Rose? Really? Yeah! Are- and give yourselves a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming out. You are amazing. We did it again, everybody. That's another episode of Kill Tony. We hope you'll stick around, hang out for a bit. We love you guys. Good night, everybody. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Thank you.